This lesson is how to use the very important status code change button for per capita reporting. It all starts by clicking the little person walking and on the basic tab we see right next to the status code the change button, the status code change button. When you press the button a new window is displayed. It is made up of three major sections. On the left hand side is the action category with a pull down. Here you get to choose among these six action categories that are normally used. I'm going to pick new member. Then you come over to the middle of the screen and pick the person's new status code. In this instance I'm going to make them a new member being initiated to the National Union for the very first time. And then on the right hand side is the status report month as compared to the current reporting period. It is important that the status report month gets spun to equal the current reporting period that you are working on sending to the National Union. Having filled in all three of these boxes, the action category, the new status code, and making sure that the status report month equals the current reporting period, you then press the OK button. This returns you to the screen. The person has the correct status code and their status date is the month that you're using to report to the international. On separate video clips, we'll be talking about all of the other different action categories. The program knows and will automatically insert the first day of the month for new members, reinstated members, pension to and from. And the program knows to insert the last day of the month for those people who are being suspended and withdrawn. The program will even ask for a deceased person the actual date of death which is required to be reported to the National Union for funeral benefits. This concludes this lesson on how to use the status change button.